Today I'll show you how to edit our Under the Lights Canva template. Um, so let's go ahead, um, here's, here's our template. You'll see these purple guidelines on the outer edge. Um, those are just for you to keep all of your important information inside of, they won't print. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and let's add a photo. So I'm gonna add a baseball photo here. I've already cut this out. Um, so what you'll want to do is when you bring your photo in, you'll come up to anyone with a Canva Pro account, come up to BG Remover. You simply click on that and it removes the background from your image. Now, if you're just a Canva free user, um, that's okay. You can still remove the backgrounds from your photos um, and upload as PNG files. You'll just need to do it um, in an outside program called Remove BG. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll uh, put a link to that down in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started here. Now that we've got our photo added, we're going to um, come up to the position tab here. We're going to click on that and you'll see there's um, two options. You have an arrange option and a layers option. You want to be in the layers. And what I like to do is bring the player down in between the colored smoke between those two layers and then you'll see that you've got the red smoke on top of him there and then it's behind him on this one. So let's go ahead and let's scale him up. I like to make this a little bit bigger so that the um, so that the player is actually the center of attention here. All right, that looks pretty good. Now what we want to do is we want to match the color of uh, the red smoke to his uniform. So I've clicked on the red smoke here. Let's go up to edit, and then we're going to click on the adjust tab here. And we're going to come down to color edit. So we're going to click on this. And then you can move around your hue saturation slider. And then you're just going to kind of match it to your blue. Um, and you can play around with the brightness tab as well. You can make it brighter, darker. The darker in this case looks a little bit better, I think. All right, so if we want to keep these um, uh, these numbers in mind, this, the hue is at a minus 72, and the brightness is at a minus 15. So if I come over to the red tab, I'm going to, sorry, the red um, cloud, I'm going to scroll down to my color. Oh, I guess I'm on white there. Well, this is why we need to go to the position tab to make sure we know where we where we are. Let's click on the red. Okay, there we go. Then we'll go to edit, adjust, and here we go. Now we can come to our color edit, and I think we said minus 72, minus 15. That looks pretty good right there. Okay, so now we've got the um, blue smoke matching up with his jersey. That looks pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and edit his number. If you triple click on it, um, you'll select the entire thing. So it's number 23. Let's make that a uh, blue. So let's see. Let's try a blue from his uniform here. Um, that looks pretty good. So let's click on this change all and what it did is it changed the previous reds to this blue and I think that looks pretty good right there. Um, so now the next thing we'll do is we will edit the name. So let's triple click and then triple click on the last name and you'll see that went a little long and it doubled up over here. That's okay. Just pull this down. That's good. And then this one we'll just nudge down. That looks pretty good right there. Okay. And then let's go in and triple click here and let's put in the baseball club. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, and what you can do here, if you want to increase the spacing so that it kind of spreads like to the length of the name, you can just Click on the letter spacing up there. That seems to work okay. 
Um, and then the baseball, if you want to sort of move it around, you know, to wherever it seems to work best for you, uh, feel free to go ahead and, and move that around. Um, so that's it. We've basically completed our edits, and now we're ready to download and post. So have a look at the poster, um, the Canva poster how-to guide um, that's included with your purchase. Uh, we also include a printing guide. Um, they're very easy to follow, and they will help you complete your project in no time at all.